In today's video I've got some tips and tricks for Midjourney AI art to help make your art more interesting and have a bit more fun with the platform and we're going to start with some prompt codes. Just simply add these to the end of your prompt and see what results you can get. The first code is aspect ratio. We type dash dash AR for aspect ratio and then a number for the width and a number for the height. And you can see this image is half as wide as it is high and because its aspect ratio is 2 by 3. If try for dash dash AR and then 3 by 2, then you get images like this. That's how you can control the aspect ratio in Midjourney. Next is test and test P algorithms. You can add in dash dash test or dash dash test P at the end of your prompt. Write a prompt and add test. So you can see the test algorithm has produced this artistic looking image. Now with the same prompt, add test P. When we switch over to test P, this is actually the photographic algorithm so we get something like a photograph. Let's look at the difference. The left image looks like a photograph and the right image looks like art or drawing. Next is dash dash stylize. It will allow mid-journey to stylize your image prompts. You go anywhere from 0 to 1000. We can type dash dash stylize or simply just dash dash s. So let's try value 625 and see what results we get by stylizing the image. This is what we got. Now change the value to 10. And this is the result. For the same prompt we got different images. The left image has stylizing value 10 and right image has stylizing value 625. Next is negative keywords or dash dash no. When I ask for natural scenery. I've got these images. Now I would like to get images with no water. So I simply type in dash dash no water. Now mid-journey is going to try and create an image by excluding those words specifically. You can notice that there is no water in the images. Next is the command for quality which is dash dash q. The value of q is anywhere from 1 to 5. 1 being the lowest and 5 meaning best quality. Write prompt and add dash dash q1. And it will create images like this. Now for the same prompt add q5. And this is the result. Use dash dash q5 to get better quality. There's also a code for the mid-journey algorithm version. There are currently four versions available. So if we take the prompt and type in dash dash v1. It will generate images based on the first version of the algorithm. Now let's try with dash dash v4 and we get a much higher quality result using the new algorithm. Right now, v4 is the newest and set to default algorithm for image generation. Next is dash dash chaos. So if I type in dash dash chaos at the end of my prompt with a zero, I am getting these images. Now I can try dash dash chaos 100 with the same prompt so we can compare the images. This is the result with chaos 100. The left image has a chaos of zero as you can see it seems to follow our prompt pretty directly but the right image has a chaos of 100 and it's a little less predictable in the way it's sort of interpreted. Next is adding weight to keywords. When I write something like this, then mid-journey will generate these images. Now I can specify priorities or give weight to specific keywords. Inside this prompt add two colons and give the raptor a weight of five. Also add different weight for other keywords. And this is the result. These images are more related to Raptor and other keywords are neglected. Look at the difference here. Both images have the same prompt, but the image on the right side has weighted keywords. Next is adding images in the prompt. Just copy the public URL of any image. Paste it in the prompt. Then add what you want to do with that image. I asked for a mohawk haircut and Midjourney created images based on the image link I gave. Next is creating animated cartoon characters. Just copy the link of the image. Paste it in the prompt. Then add animated cartoon characters. And it will convert a human face into a cartoon character. At the end if you want to download your images in high quality then open Midjourney. Click on sign in. And you will see all your images here. Just click on any image and download it. You can find more codes and details on the Midjourney website. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.